Hi, this is uh, Jay Rodman playing Bard's Tale 3, and uh, where we are in this recording is having, we, we just got Sorcerers um, after completing the third level of the Unterbray dungeon, and uh, now I have to level them up. So um, the reason we kind of have to level them up a little independently of the main play of the game, and this is why I'm not going to be doing any mapping in this segment, and I mentioned this before, is that when they change classes, they go back down to level 1. And at level 1, they have a low success chance in their spells, and they have low saving throws against enemy attacks. So they're kind of terrible. <laughs> they're not as weak as first as the origin, newly created first level characters in two ways. Uh, one way is they have reasonable stats. So if we look at Griselda, for example. Oh, well, we have a Bone Acolyte, which I don't really want to toy with, but I guess I'm going to. Well, talk about that later. So the Bone, I guess I can try my Mind Jab out. I don't think it's going to work very well, but... It's a single target spell that goes that distance, and it's cheap. Yep, resisted. One point of damage. I'm gonna run away. So, um, bringing up a Griselda. So, a newly created character, you work really hard to get maybe some 16s or 17s or 18s. But by now, you can see she's got 21 strength, which is helping not at all. 21 IQ, which is pretty relevant. 13 dexterity. Dodging arrows, I guess. A not entirely fail constitution. I think it actually starts helping you at 15. Luck is also not terrible, although it may only help you. This may not be a very good example. She may actually be about as weak as a um, new character. Uh... Elendor is slightly better example. Her luck is 14. She's actually getting a benefit there. Her constitution is 18. She's got a bunch of uh, hit points. Anyway, um, that's one way they're better. Is they have better stats, although that doesn't seem to be meaningfully the case here. The other way they're better is sorcerers are an advanced class, and they have better saving throws just in general than the basic classes to basically compensate for the fact that you rewind their levels. So what I'm doing basically, or what I'm trying to do, is just run around and find fights. Preferably easily winnable fights. And uh, then gain some sorcerer levels. As the sorcerers gain levels, they'll gain spells. Their saves and eff eff efficacy will start to rise back towards their previous levels. And we'll get some more spell points and hit points. It would be kind of nice if this level was so easy that they could do it mindlessly because then I could speed up the grinding, but it's not that easy. I set off a vortex, who, which hurt no one. That's nice that it hurt no one, I think. I'm 
checking. I'm uh, consulting my off screen map. Okay. I expect to be uh, leveling on this, grinding on this level for a non trivial amount of time. So right now I'm trying to learn where the fixed encounters are. I thought there was a fixed encounter here. Yep. Hmm, more bone acolytes. I guess I'll try playing with them. It's probably gonna be hit point negative. Ice storm on them and another ice storm on them. We'll spell hit. I don't think that's the full damage range of that spell. Like I think it's supposed to do 30 to 100 or something. I didn't actually check how many experience points we need to level up my, but I think it's around 5,000. Hmm. Well, I should start trying to use arrows just to see, partly because these are about to be completely obsolete. Probably I'm interested in seeing how these ags arrows work. So I wonder if this is the most effective range spells I've got. I'm going to try Spectre Touch and Zelda is going to heal everyone. Not a moment too soon. Well, Spectre Touch didn't do appreciably more damage, but it was the last little nugget of damage needed. Oh, now that is a good upgrade. So, uh, and I'm going to say that this reaction to these items is pretty much not spoiled in the sense that you already knew these items from Bard's Tale 1 and 2. Maybe. If you'd played them. 
uh wind so there are wind demons and wind demons it seems both that is confusing and the wing demons are the really scary ones so i'm just going to fight this even though i haven't got a chance to play with the staff yet um let me continue Casting Ice Storm. It's a high, it should be a high uh, damage, high magic spell points thing. And I bet it's on average going to work better than almost anything else I have. There's only one now, so. Now I should use, I guess, a single target spell. I think it costs like around a third of the um, spell points. Maybe it does like half the damage. Kind of annoyed about being withered there. Okay, here's the other trick uh, I figured out. Ogre strength. Makes you more accurate in combat. So <laughs> if if Elena hadn't just gotten around to finally killing it on her own, those buffs would have helped. Firstly, I'm sort of like excited about using up this youth potion so I can get it out of my inventory. I feel like inventory slots end up being one of your most precious resources.
so phantoms are the ones that summon dragons. So I guess I should advance to get closer before he starts putting dragons in the way. It seems like when they're close up, like 10 feet away, they prefer using the basic attack. Whereas if they're farther away, they use spells a lot more often. I don't remember what a dozer is, but none of the none of the summon scale. So these are this is the wing demon, um, but there's only one. So I'm and I'm at full health, almost. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Poison ain't no thing. The winged demon is dead. Oh my goodness. How inept can you get? Set off poison needle like a noob. Oh, uh, okay. So a soul mace, I think, might be a damage upgrade. It is like some weird special, like, drain their soul something something, which doesn't actually matter, I don't think. But I think it also does more damage. Oh, I forgot to use my sorcerer spell, the Lord of the Rings spell. Sorry, locate traps. That's what that is. But I always remember how to spell it because it's Lord of the Rings. I swear, like they intentionally made most of these spell codes overlap with things that were culturally relevant in the 80s. Some of them obviously are older. Or fantasy specific. But Mako, for example, is completely expired. Oh, right, this mage tab, I forgot about that. Okay, so I'm gonna try equipping this soul mace. Try to keep track of Grisnak's damage and see if that's higher, but I don't really know where the damage is right now, so it's a little hard. So I just replaced a shield staff with a mage staff, and I think it makes no difference to armor. Yeah, none. So it's a strict upgrade. Shield staff gives you extra armor, and the mage staff gives you extra armor and extra spell points. Five winged demons, I am out of here. No, I do not want to fight that fight. This one's fine. See, my mage went from 51 to 52. Seems minor. Um, but... It helps. And if I, it may work in every combat round. Let's try to keep an eye on it. So 
So Griselda, she hasn't cast her spell yet. It's going to go down. Her spell points will obviously go down when she does that. Go down to 45. Uh, I can't tell if they went up at all. Maybe they don't. In 2GS, Bard's Tale 2, they go up every combat round, which is just crazy. I mean, crazy good. Yep, went up from 45 to 46. The overall impact um, scales pretty well when you find more of them. Having two mages with constantly increasing spell points is pretty obviously more effective than one. Twelve thousand experience. Um, I'll go back up when I get to around fifteen, maybe. Two bone acolytes and one wing demon. I'm gonna try running away. Okay, I failed. I'm gonna use ice storm on. I don't know, the bone act, the marrow suckers actually. Um, and ogre strength on Helena, our rogue. So that she can go back and assassinate them over time. I suspect the fire elemental is not really dangerous. I don't really know that. Um, how low am I? I'm going to cast a preemptive restoration. Because, well, there's a good reason why right there. But the idea is... Um, as the combat goes on, there should be fewer and fewer enemies, and the risk should be going down, so long as my hit points are high. So keeping them high sort of preemptively is a good idea. Although I ran myself out of spell points, and I'll have to spend a turn refueling. Okay, the winged demon came forward. I should absolutely... Get rid of him. The accolades are not in reach of Elena. I will give her another ogre strength while my other mage eats a gem.
Okay, the wing demon is out. And the bone acolytes are still far. I am going to switch to, I'm going to hit safety song once because I think some of them are calling friends. Oh, incidentally, I figured out, oh, assassinate a bone golem. I figured out that there's a distinction. Sir Robin song, which I think I actually didn't use, so I need to do that. I think I used, I get safety song and Robin song confused. Okay, kill the fire elemental, kill the fire elemental. Kill a fire elemental. Sir Robin's tune. Assassinate a acolyte. Use a gem. And cast ice storm on the fire elementals. Okay, so sometimes there are more monsters added to the fight because they call their friends. Like, I don't know wasps making a buzzing and other wasps come to back them up social animals uh something like that and that can be blocked by sir robin's tune there is another way that monsters get out of the fight when people cast when some monsters cast spells that create enemies in some fashion uh that cannot be blocked by that song. It's a independent mechanism. Uh, there is a sorcerer spell called preclusion that blocks summoning altogether, which uh, is the is the level is the highest level sorcerer spell. So it's sort of what we're aiming towards right now. Those fire elementals do hit kind of hard. Which is a problem because they hit, I don't know, it stacks, it's stacking with the background damage of the bone acolytes. So restoration and ice storm on those damn bone acolytes. Okay, this feels slightly more in control than it's been so far. is yeah, so when the bone sucker asks for help, none appears because I have already played the Sir Robin song. But when the bone acolytes summon fire elementals, that works just fine. Or, I mean, I don't like it at all, but it works. Okay, we're down to one bone acolyte. Okay, 
I think I'm just going to wait for my rogue to walk over there and kill him. I don't feel the need to go into range where he does like 70 damage per person with that shorter range spell. It would be nice if he would just surrender. He should. He's seen like all his little minions get destroyed by us. But he died. Poison blades. Uh, trap shot. Anything good? Should be something good. It's a hard enough fight. No, nothing good. Uh, okay, we've hit the experience point target. I was, I spitballed. I was thinking maybe enough experience points to hit level three. A wing demon three. This is maybe fine. Everyone can gang up on the wing demon. And my mages can blast the death lions. The only question mark is the demon Gari Lord. I don't think I know what he does very well yet. I think he casts a spell, dot, dot, dot. I'm going to try advancing. This might be a, might be a terrible idea, but... The reason those casters that are really mean at close up don't advance is to give you a chance. So I'm thinking if he advance, if he's a kind of thing that advances, getting near him is not a, probably a total disaster. It certainly wasn't this time. Okay, so there's an explosion in this square, and the next square? Yeah. I guess there's a little bit of mapping as it turns out, but... You can imagine me putting down a lightning bolt symbol, and then moving on.
so wise? Lady Oakshield is so much closer than the others. I don't know. Maybe she's one of the two that survived that disastrous fight. Okay. Elendor gets a constitution and constitution. And that's it. Strength and dexterity. So they're both going to get a level of new level of spells. Let's take a look at those spells, those new levels. I can't hold it down, I have to... Ah, oh, I just I can't get by that. I'm sure at the time I thought it was normal. Okay, so we already had Mind Jab, Phase Blur, and Locate Traps. Now we add to that Disbelieve, which gives us a much higher chance of disbelieving illusionary enemies. Wind Warrior, which is a kind of summon we won't use. And Fear, which is a thing you use on enemies that reduces their combat effectiveness. I think it causes them to... The text is vague. Something like miss or do less damage or maybe both. In a way, the most important thing that we got though was like better spell effectiveness. Things will probably not resist us all the time anymore. Okay, I stopped to check the length. Uh, I'm going to end this session one here. I think the next thing we're going to do is the natural next step, which is to go down to the level 4, explore it, see what can be done there. I'll talk about what comes next later, when, when, it's, when it's relevant. See ya.